Yo guys, what's going on? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners, Lesson 1. <laughs> Alright then, so before we embark on this journey of JavaScript goodness, you should know a couple of things. And the first one is HTML. Now, you don't need to be a wizard, you just need to know enough to make a simple web page. And that's because JavaScript works alongside HTML to add interactivity to those web pages. So if you don't know what HTML is or you don't know much about it, you can check out the playlist I've done right here on YouTube called HTML for Beginners. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. The next thing you need to know is CSS. And again, you don't need to be a pro. You just need to know enough to style up a simple web page. And again, that's because JavaScript sometimes utilizes CSS to change the effect or the appearance of things on a web page. So I've also done a playlist called CSS for Beginners. You can check out that also if you know nothing about CSS. And I'll leave the link to that in the description below too. So once you've swatted up on those two areas, it's time to get cracking with JavaScript for Beginners. Okay, so what are we going to learn in this playlist? Well, the first thing we're going to cover is what JavaScript is and when we use it. And then when we've got that out of the way, we're going to look at the basics of JavaScript syntax. Now, it might be daunting at first, but I promise you when you get the hang of it, it is really simple. You're going to pick it up, no problem. Then we'll start working with data types in JavaScript, and these include integers, strings, booleans, etc. And then we'll look at control flow. Now, control flow kind of controls how a program runs and the logic behind it within JavaScript. They include things like loops and conditional statements. Once we've done that, we'll dive right into the document object model or the DOM for short. Now, the DOM, my friends, is a really, really important area for a front-end development. It's the core of my skill set and probably should be of yours too because this is how we manipulate elements in a web page and how we communicate with the HTML to change the look and appearance of things on the website. Okay, so we're gonna master that. And then finally, we're gonna move on to some examples of JavaScript on web pages and start making a couple of simple programs of our own. So before we start coding things up, I just wanna show you a couple of tools that I'm gonna use for this playlist. Now, you don't have to download them, but if you wanna follow along exactly the way I'm doing things, then you probably wanna head over to brackets.io first and download this web editor called Brackets. Now, it's a really cool free text editor from Windows or Mac. Comes with IntelliSense, along with a lot of other cool features as well. Supports HTML, CSS, JavaScript, among other things. So you want to download that first of all, and then head over to google.com forward slash Chrome. Now, Chrome is just a browser, and you can use whichever browser you want. The reason I like to use Chrome for development is that it's got a cool console and other development tools embedded into it. Now, other browsers have those as well. I just prefer Chrome's. So if you want to follow along with me, head over to this website and download Chrome. I'll leave the links to both of these websites in the description below. So that's about it for this introduction lesson. Um, next, we're going to start looking at what JavaScript is. So I'll see you guys in that video.